What you guys today were taking a look at how to fully back up your PC to a USB flash drive for free using Clonezilla. Once you hit the website here, Clonezilla, I'll leave the link in the video description. Then you can click on the download section and choose whether you want to have alternative stable or stable version. I'm going to go for stable version here. I'm going to click on this. This is Debian based and uh, we're going to need to change the CPU architecture to 64 bit, change the type to ISO and then we can do the repository to SourceForge. Hit the download section and uh, this will now download our ISO to our computer. So we're going to need a couple of USB flash drives, one for the bootable uh, Clonezilla drive and one for the storage. For the storage, I'm going to use this Arico USB solid state flash drive. It's 512 gigabytes. It's a USB Gen 3.2. So we're going to be using this. It's made of aluminium here, so it's a pretty good, robust USB flash drive. It's a type C, so it will go straight into my computer. We should get fast data transfer for the bootable drive for uh, Clonezilla, we're just going to use this SanDisk. Now we're also going to need Rufus. This is going to create a bootable uh, USB flash drive with Clonezilla on it. So let's go ahead and download the portable version of this. It's a free piece of software. I'm going to open this up. And uh, once we've got this open, you can see I've got the USB flash drive plugged in. It's a 32 gigabyte drive. This is for the SanDisk drive here for our bootable media. So I'm going to select the Clonezilla. Uh, partition scheme, I'm going to leave as MBR, which is for BIOS and UEFI. Give it a volume label. You can call this a Clonezilla if you want to. Uh, file system, FAT32 or NTFS. I'm going NTFS here. And then click Start, and this will start the process. You should now see that it's going to say Write ISO Image. We're going to say Yep, and uh, click OK. And this will erase all the data on that drive and put Clonezilla on there. That's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section, which is basically boot into this USB flash drive so we can then back up all of the data and the operating system onto our USB flash drive. So I'm going to let this finish off and it should now say completed. There we go, ready to go. This is what we're going to be backing up, this Chewy mini PC here. And uh, it doesn't really matter what device it is, but we're going to be using this and we're going to clone this. So what I'm going to need to do here is put in my bootable media, which is Clonezilla. I'm going to put this in the front here, and uh, we can put this in. And we're also going to put in our storage, which is where we're going to back up our drive to. Now, this can be an external drive or any other type of USB flash drive. It's entirely up to you. I'm going with this one here. So I just need to take the cap off and plug it in. Now, this mini PC does have a Type-C connection on it, which means we're going to get super fast uh, data transfer on this one here. Let me go ahead and plug that in there. Let me just get this in there. There we go. So let's power on the device and tap F2 on my dirty bench uh, keyboard here. And basically we're gonna boot into the BIOS. Now, once you're inside here, you can go to the boot tab and you can now select your first boot option. This needs to be your USB flash drive. It might say the name of the USB flash drive or it might just say USB device. Select that and click F10 and boot to that device. And if you want to reverse it, you just go back in and select the first boot option and put it back to your Windows uh, drive and it will boot straight back into Windows. So that's how you can save uh, these options. Push F10 and then save these options for yourself. So you need to make the first boot option your USB device that you're booting to. Once you're done, it will boot to that USB flash drive. You can either select Clonezilla Live VGA 800 by 600, or you can select Clonezilla Live VGA 800 by 600 and to RAM. It will boot it to RAM if you want to. I'm going to select the top one, choose my keyboard layout, which is going to be English. I'm going to keep the default keyboard layout, push enter on the keyboard. And now we can start Clonezilla by pressing enter. Now we can select the device image, work with disks and partitions using image. Also. We can use the local uh, drive, example, hard drives and USB drives. Push enter on this one and it should now move on to the next section. Now you need to press control C and this will give us a list of all the disks here. And you can see it coming up on the screen down the bottom. It looks pretty daunting, but it is pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to quickly uh, mount our drive here. This is the uh, 512 gigabyte external drive. So I'm going to mount this and push this one and click OK here. 
And uh, once this is done, you should now see, choose uh, if you want to check the drive and repair the drive. I'm going to say no here and skip this part. Now you can browse the directory for Clonezilla Image Repository. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. You can browse it down the bottom there using your tab key, or you can just select that area here, which we've got here on the system. I've got another image on here, so I'm going to select this area, and then I'm going to use the tab key and select Done. Now we can go Beginner Mode and accept the default settings here, and now we need to save local disks as an image. So we're going to select the top one here, and this will go ahead and do that. Now you can see we do have our name. I'm going to leave this as default and push Enter on the keyboard. And now we need to choose our source, which is going to be our drive, which is built into the mini computer. And this is this one right here, the air disk. Yours will probably be different. So select your drive. Next, you can choose to compress it. So I'm just going to choose the top one here for default. So let's go ahead and do that one here. And next up, we've got to skip the checking and repairing the source file system. So I'm going to leave that as is. And now, yes, check the saved image. We don't want to encrypt it, so I'm going to leave the top selection and go ahead and move on to the next section, which is what you want to do once it's finished. I'm going to shut down the computer. That way I know we've completely backed up our drive. So let's go ahead and click shut down and click enter. It's going to say press enter. And then we're going to go through a bunch of text on the bottom here. Just let it do its thing. And uh, you will see a bunch of stuff coming up. It'll say, are you sure you want to continue with cloning this? And you can see here, it gives you some information on here. I'm going to say yes. And there you go. It will start going ahead and backing up that data. It's going to clone all that information across to our USB flash drive. It does take a bit of time, so be patient and let it go through all of its uh, process. And then once you're done, you can then shut the PC down and then boot up back to the computer and have a look at your USB flash drive that you've backed up your image to. So I'm just going to boot up to the computer's desktop here because the process was finished and I changed the boot order again uh, to boot to Windows. Make sure you do that. And once we're at the desktop here, we can now check our image to make sure it's backed up correctly. There it is on our Oracle. Uh, let's go into here and yours will be in a different type of drive. And you can see there is a folder in here called image and there it is right inside here. So there's all the image for this computer and that's where it's stored. So we can now restore from this image and all you need to do here is restart the computer and go through the same process and select that image. So let me go ahead and quickly show you how we can do this. I'm going to quickly restart the PC. I'm going to plug in our storage drive and our bootable drive and go back in and change the boot order back to our drive so I can show you how to restore from that image. Let's go ahead and uh, get the system prepped and restart the system. And we will go back into the BIOS and change our boot order to our USB flash drive again. Keep tapping F2 on your dirty keyboard and get back into your BIOS and go back in here. And we're going to change this again to our USB flash drive. You can see I changed it before to the hard drive because I wanted to get back to the desktop. And if you don't know how to do all this sort of stuff, then maybe you shouldn't be using this method to back up your data. So we're going to put USB flash drive in here, save these settings and boot to uh, Clonezilla once again. So let me go ahead and do that. And we'll go back and boot into it. So let's go ahead and boot back to Clonezilla here. So let's go ahead and boot to Clonezilla. I'm going to choose the top selection here. Now, if you don't do this right away, sometimes your keyboard and mouse might not work. Uh, if that does happen, just select the top one very quickly and it will start to find your keyboard and mouse and it will work, okay, if you're getting the keyboard and mouse not detected. So let's go ahead and uh, let this load up. And once we get this loading up, you just go through the same process again. So I'm going to choose the default language here. I'm going to skip through this bit pretty quickly because we've done this already. So just let this load up. It's all the same right up until a point where I'll show you uh, where we need to change something. So let me go ahead and select use local device and also USB flash drives here. So just push enter again. And again, it's going to tell me to press control C once more and go ahead and do that once again. Once that's done, we can now move on to the next section. So here we're going to select our 
USB drive with our image on it here. So let's go down and select this one here. So push OK here. And once we've done this, we can now select this image and push Enter on the keyboard. And that will take us to our next screen here, which is then going to allow us to choose what we want to do here. So I'm going to skip this part here. Now we can choose the directory, the uh, repository. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. Let's go ahead and select this one here. You can choose either one here. I've got a couple of them here. You can either browse to it. I'm just going to click done here. And once we've done this, press enter again, and it will take us to the next step. And once we get to this next step, it's going to allow us to say beginner again. Now, this is the screen here. Instead of clicking save disk, we're going to restore disk. And once you restore an image to a local disk, we're going to choose this option right here. So click on this one. And now we can choose which image we want to restore from. So I've got two of them. So I'm going to choose one of these to store from this, uh, restore from this image. So let's go ahead and do this one here. And again, what it's going to do now is ask you where do you want to restore it to, which is going to be our internal drive on our computer, which is this one. Click OK. Use the partition table from, from the image. We're going to leave that as is. Yes, check the image before restoring. And now we can choose to shut down once it's completed. Click OK here. And this will then start the process. So let's go ahead and click OK. And you have now started the restore process. Once that's done, you can restart your PC and it should basically go back to the way it was before if you had an issue and you can use this image to restore from uh, whether you wanted to restore back because you had a problem with your computer or maybe uh, uh, something else happened and you just want to restore it. That's how you can back up and restore using Clonezilla. It's a completely free piece of software which has been around for a long time. It's super easy to use. No more. Uh, paying out for software to back up your computer. There's 101 different ways of backing up your computer with different types of software. But if you want to give something else a go, then Clonezilla is out there and it is free to use. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.